What's up guys, Cody here with another episode of Anima Talks, an Ethereal podcast focused on discussing Ethereal news and information as it pertains to gameplay, as well as discussing various MOBA concepts, systems, and ideas, and how they relate to Ethereal. As always, I'm joined by my good friend, Repped Out. Hello. <laughs> so, um, we're ba- uh, no, we were back last week. <laughs> uh, I can't we're still back this week. week. Yeah, we're back. Um, yeah, so, uh, we're back with Leia. After a short delay, um, we now have Leia, Ethereal's first Sky Slayer. She's got a lot of wind magic to speed her up, blast her foes off with, um, or knock them up with giant tornadoes. And she has the class ability of flight, so she was definitely, um, the myth everyone was looking forward to the most. Um, for those that haven't seen it, me and you did a reaction video to the spotlight. Um, you can check that out on my channel. Um, some of my opinions have changed a little bit since then, but I think for the most part, my initial thoughts on her have more or less solidified as uh, the week went on. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not, I'm not. I'm not high on the the Leia hype train, <laughs> or Leia or whatever. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not high on the. Hi- I'm not high on the hype train. I mean, flying's cool and all, but uh. Yeah. I. I don't know. Like, I like her more, but not a ton more. I think it's like. I like first off, like, we'll just get animations out of the way. We, we don't like the animations for the most part, especially the crashing dive needs a lot of work. And if, that's the one thing that I was like, yeah, this is the one thing that I, I really expected better for the alpha. Everything else I'm like, I can, I can live with. Like, I can live yeah. with the whole confetti BS that comes out from half of her abilities. But the crashing dive needs to at least be a dive animation it can't just be a little fall animation because it looks like it looks like they just took her fall animation and put it in the dive um that aside though for the most like the other the other parts of the animations are passable and the and the tornado was good i like the tornado and the flying animation was cool um the flying animation was actually very very well done yeah i mean Um, yeah. I wonder how much they focused on that rather than like I don't know other animations. I don't know. I think I think there's based on her kit, I think there was a lot more to do animation wise than some of the other myths. Um which is why she seems like by far the worst, I think, out of all of them. Yeah, for as as far as animation wise, yeah, she's the worst. I think it's just I to, to me I think it's just because her kit has a lot going on, so there's a lot of a lot of room for improvement. The only other person that I think you could say has a lot going on might be uh, Marina or Noxus, but they're like animating light is pretty simple. I feel like unless mm-hmm. you're trying, depending on what you're doing, but like a beam of light is pretty straightforward. Ensnaring groups of light is pretty straightforward and whatnot, and then Marina's got water, so she's like bubbles and a pool of water. It wasn't too difficult, I think. But this one is... is Wind is not necessarily easy, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I can see that. Yeah. Um, so animations aside, the kit itself has... Gr- it's grown a little bit on me, um, just because I want to see if I can make her support. Um, oh, okay, so something that we didn't really catch on to, um, because you can't see it in the video... I, uh, is that her crashing dive is supposed to knock up enemies. Okay, that makes sense. It said, They said it in the video, and it says it online, but it doesn't show it. Like, Grognar okay. just sits there as he gets hit by the dive. Um, and then the NATO is also supposed to be a knockup as well, which you can see yep. that in there, but the not, you, you get lifted like an inch off the ground, and you just stay hovered there. I don't like that either. Um... But with her, with that being an actual knockup, um, and her plumage, her feather things that she shoots at being a slow, um, I guess we'll get more into the roll thing later. Um, but like she's got, she's got CC in the kit, um, which made me l- start to like her more. But it is still weird. I need numbers, is what I need at the yeah. end of the day. 
I, I mean, realistically, at least she is a disruptor and she is a diver rather than just like slapping those <laughs> yeah. tags on her like arbitrarily and just being like, yeah, she she has a dive in the back line that does absolutely nothing. It's like, uh, but no, at least knocking it up. I mean, in my opinion, that's like game changing as far as diving, right? Because it's like you are you are having CC, your plumes are slowing, your your tornado is knocking up. So it's like uh, the the disruptor tag makes more sense now. It, at least at least like and from my my uh, first impression I was like, okay, you're cool. Your dive doesn't knock up. It's like all right. Mm -hmm. So your only knock up is on your ult. It's like mm. it's kind of how we feel with like uh, with Talos is like being a diver, and it's like his only diving ability is his ultimate. It's like okay, well I don't. I don't see how that tag applies, yeah. but with with that with that knowledge, like I could I could see what you're saying. It grows a little, but I still think is kind of mm -hmm. yeah. doesn't really hit the mark for me, honestly. Um, I do like that there is flexibility in the kit in terms of like builds. Um, and we'll get into items later, but I think that like she like you can I think that because of her mostly with how her passive interacts with her abilities. I think like you can you can go full damage, you can go bruiser, and then maybe not so much tank, but there like I can at least see it as a potential option. Like so, like you can you can go the full spectrum. And yeah. I I like that. Um, it's I, a lot of it's going to be number based at the end of the day. Um, but I like that yeah. that there's that there's at least that flexibility in her kit. Um, because they like they're trying to kind of do that with a lot of the myths is like, hey, we've got a lot of different options because we have such a limited pool, you know, or a lot of different options. But I think for every myth, there's at least two play styles that some of them might be similar. Like Dante, it's it's like your different play styles are gonna be based all around your items. Mm -hmm. Um instead of like like you're gonna you're gonna fight the exact same way with Dante every time. But how that damage is just out is going to be based on the items. And I guess that kind of more or less plays for most other people. Um, but for Leia and potentially, like, Iran, if you go, like, if you wanted to go damage on him, not like it's going to be all that great. But uh, <laughs> there's certain myths that, like, they're, they're, you will have certain abilities that with, with certain items are going to be more effective, and that's what you're going to be playing around more. If that makes sense. No, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, that's. So. I actually never thought of it that way, but yeah, I mean, with with the limited amount of myths, it makes sense that they would do that, right? So mm -hmm. it it lessens the the stagnation of the game, right? Where it's like, if I could play this same same myth three different ways, is like, oh wow, cool. And that often that also opens up like different lanes they can go to, different roles they could play within the lane. So I actually didn't catch that, but now that I think about it more, it's like. Actually, yeah. kind of true. Like, uh, like full magic damage. Talos is coming. Um, um. Yeah, and if you have anything else to add. No, I'm good. I think all was said. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then I, I, I guess the only other thing that I have in my notes is that she's got a simple kit, with the difficulty of it being her passive, like knowing when to. Uh, knowing, like, keeping an eye on, like, which ability you want to be empowered so that, like, you have to set, you have to set that up beforehand if, like, you're ganking somebody, like, and you want to get the the increased damage off your, off your thrust, but you want to also dive in first, you gotta have that set up properly, and in a yeah. fight you have to keep your eye on, um, like, oh, hey, my thing's about to come up, I can't just spam my abilities. Yeah. Oh, I think overall yeah, kind, kind of like Pantheon. Yeah. So it's I think it's just jump in, press buttons and just keep an eye but the difficulty is keep an eye on passives. Yeah, your stacks, your passives, yeah. I mean I I I don't know how much you've looked at like items and stuff like that, but what do you what do you think as far as paths? Items it's so I don't it like depends on what build we're talking about. Are we assuming that she's gonna be mostly I think everybody's mostly bruiser. <laughs> But, like, for Bruiser, it's just, like, the AP jungle item mm -hmm. into Mage Slayer's Cloak, into 
Maybe Dragon's Heart Jewel. Maybe I don't know. Like I feel like I'm not a big fan of Dragon's Heart Jewel. I know. I'm just not a fan. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I don't know. And I mentioned Ripple Spell Rifle in our reaction video. I think that's more of a number dependent item than anything. But I feel like maybe that's an option. You know, Ring of Enchantment, which is the Nasher's Tooth of the game, seems like it might be a good option as well. I feel like there's a lot of things that are potentially good. But I think most of it, I was looking at it, I was like, well, I kind of need to know the numbers for everything. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's kind of the unfortunate reality of, like, all of the myths being put out, is there's still not anything, like solidifying what what it what is actually happening right so it's like how many seconds is the knockup like how many like what whatever whatever the numbers are damage wise cc wise healing wise um mm -hmm. it's really hard to base item builds off that like yeah i could just say oh yeah, you're just gonna build the generic the generic magic damage it's like okay cool um i would i would like to see her plumage heal though to see kind of to, to see how what the numbers are for the heal, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I, mean, I, I, I would love to see that. Because like, if if it's a lot, like, I mean, could could we potentially see the the Sky Slayer in uh in the support role? I mean, yeah. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, for I guess Sky Slayers in general as a topic, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I was just I was just yeah. talking about her. Yeah, she's the only Sky Slayer at yeah, this point. Yeah, I know she's the only Sky Slayer at this point. Um, which that'll yeah. Uh, like I items, I'm just I'm just like I need more information because I can be like yeah, just throw on magic. Like I can be like I can be, I like I think like for a bruiser, like obviously you can get the tank items at the end of it, and obviously you're going to pick up Mage Slayer's cloak probably. Um, and you're gonna and for every build you're gonna pick up the AP jungle item, but it's like and then it's like assassin though it's like well maybe cosmic rod I I'm not really sold on maybe cosmic rod I don't know I guess if you're an assassin cosmic rod is good that's the one that gives you move speed and it yep. reset it gives you move speed gives you cooldown off your abilities it gives you all it gives you resets your gives abilities you a ton and of stuff. magic power. Yeah. yeah, but then I like I think for like a normal bruiser build, I think that item is god awful. Um, and then for and then like I was thinking, well maybe wizard's mask because I know that it's not like obviously an amazing option. Um, but like hey, increased damage seems really good for an assassin. Um, and then, like, you could just throw in any, you could throw in the variety, you could just throw a variety of items on. It's like, we talked, I mentioned Staff of Anubis, duplicating her thing. You know, based on how it's duplicated, you could get a lot of shit with it if you duplicate her thrust thing. Um, so I, I, get, I just need more information. I need to know how more interactions work. Yeah, I mean... That 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 is interesting to think though. It's like because her double her double um her double explosion is like would it would it be quadrupled? I don't know or at least tripled. That that would be insane damage. Well, it's though, tripled actually at least, but it's but it's, well, it's yeah it's tripled at reduced damage, and so it's you're having it it would be it would kind of just be like having two normal casts almost. I feel like because her second her echo spell of it is already reduced damage. Reduced. So I guess it it would you know you essentially doing like a two hundred to two hundred fifty percent spell, which. But if it's quadrupled though. If it's quadrupled, then or then you're not only then you're not only just doubling your spell, you're doubling the spell echo. So we're look then you're looking at three hundred to like three seventy five percent off of one spell for your damage total. So. Something to keep in mind. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all there really is to say about items. It's just I need more information. I agree. Yeah. I'm, Unless you have I'm something. With that as well. No, nah, I mean, I, I would really like to see the Ripple Spell Rifle being used. I, I'd be. This is un, unrealistic, but an on hit Leia build. Yeah. Where you just. 
you get the uh, the Heaven's Blade. It knocks up people every four bits. So you jump in, knock up people, hit them up with your thing. It knocks them up. Then you use the tornado and knock them up again. It'd be funny, but probably not good. Just because you don't have any AP anymore. Yeah, I would say it might be a good like dueling build. I don't know. I like, kind of run around the map, but but it's also like her kit might just be extremely explosive. So I, I don't I don't foresee the spell rifle being used, but it'd be it'd be fun. I like the item. Um. Yeah. Moving on to rolls. Um. We've mentioned some things, but obviously it's going to end up being jungle. It's going to be her main role. Um. As yeah, especially a sky jungle requires a uh, sky slayer, which eh, we don't quite know yet. Yeah, that's if 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 that's the case, then she's just hard locked jungle. Like for now, if, if yeah, wait until until, until we until we out. get more sky slayers. But like, if that's the case, then it's just jungle, jungle, jungle. Yeah. Um, I, I would like to see her support, though. I, I, I think she could see utilize support. support. I think I think you'd also take her solo lane. Yeah. It wouldn't be as good. Um, I mean, like, uh, I, I, would, I would say it would still be good because, like, you have great gank setup, right? Like, he's actually one of the absolutely... only people with gank setup. Everybody else is saying, just like, like really hard to lane CC. Yeah, like this is easy, right? You just plume them, slow them, then you just dash on them, knock them up, and it's like. By then, if your jungler's not in your lane after you knock somebody up and slow them, or you slow them and knock them up, it's like, at that point, it's just jung diff. Like, jung diff, go next. Well, the junglers in the game are going to all have dashes. It, like, Yeah, that's what I'm, so it's like. Like, Malaya has a dash, Iran has a run dash. And then, <laughs> has a run. <laughs> um, and then Talos, Talos is the only one that requires his ultimate to have a dash, but still, like... I mean, yeah, but like, if 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 your laner knocks up and slows, like, I can't foresee you needing a dash. True. Like, like a dash will help, obviously. Like, you know, nobody's gonna negate the fact that a dash closes distance. But it's like, if your laner has that much setup, it's like, how much more can you ask for, right? But but also on the flip side is like jungle. That's crazy gap close. Like, yes, that, that, that is... she has insane like especially it's aoe knockup too so it's not yeah. like you have you have to be pinpoint accurate so it's just so i think that as a utility like if, i mean they even said like this is meant to be like a utility jungler so as a utility jungler it seems really good and just as a utility yeah. champion um which is why she seems to want to start moving into that support role. You, you just want to push everybody into your little support role. Hey, Game I've been saying! I've been saying <laughs> since the, since they released the Leia bio, I was like, Leia support. Leia support. Everyone's like, no, but she's a sky jungler. She's a sky slayer. She's gonna want to fly around the map. I'm like, yeah! I can take her support and fly around the map to gank! Um... I, yeah, and that's... <laughs> I, it's it's just like all the archetypes and stuff like that. Just really, I once more myths come out, I feel like the game is gonna be opened up into like crazy, like a crazy meta. And I, mm -hmm. I just don't. I'm trying to like figure out. They might have to limit how many of each class you yeah. have. Yeah. I mean, but they've already said that they do plan on adding more classes as well. Yeah. Well, that with, with what we have now, like with what is solidified, it's like I could definitely see. M certain archetypes being better than others just as like if there was an option to take you know six art like arc majors i would take that over like you know a berserker right it's like the the the, the more i see uh the more i see the, the the more i'm getting on that like trying to figure out what is going to happen but as far as support could you imagine okay it's like like could you imagine you're just in your lane right you're just chilling you're farming, and all of a sudden, Leia just comes out of nowhere. For, like, and she's support, right? What to say? She's supporting the duo lane, and then you have two junglers come gank your lane. It's like, yeah. or even just one, because you're not going to need freaking four people there. Right? It's like, what? How do you counterplay that? You have like, wards, I, I guess. Well, yeah, but like, what? Like, no, I, there isn't. Like, and I, that... I also wonder the flight time. Like, how long is it going to take to get from? 
The flight, like, like hard numbers. The like, flight it seems will take fast. Ten seconds. The yeah. flight seems super fast, and that like they didn't show how much time it was necessarily going to take. Like they they cut it for the mm -hmm. the going up, but flying this around, it didn't look like it was taking much time at all to fly from like one side of the map to the other. Yeah, which well, that, that's is something ridiculous. you're just going to need to know. Like you're just going to need to know, right? Like it's going to take. It's going to take this guy, like, let's say the support role, it's going to take him 10 seconds, like, at most, right, to get to my, or, like, at least to get into my lane if he pass optimally. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, that, oh, man, I'm going to get, I'm going to get heavy tilted. Actually, it's... I'll be playing jungle, so I won't get tilted. Yeah, well, I fine. think, I think me and you are both going to end up playing jungle. If, like, especially if, like, I can't play, if I, if I'm forced to almost play Marina into the support role, if enchanter supports are like the thing, mm -hmm. I think I'll just go jungle because I'll just I'll just be the support jungle. Or well, hey, I'll carry. Don't worry, <laughs> you can support me. <laughs> um, I'm actually there's well, I'll I'll talk about it when we get to the later section. But there's I've got something I do want to like test out. It's not okay. it's not it's not I... it's not anything. It's not crazy. It's it's to it's, it's someone that's expected to be jungle, but it's someone that you wouldn't necessarily see me play. In like okay, okay. I got um, you. Okay. Yeah, but I think yeah. So and we've already we've already mentioned about oh the one thing I do want to say um like I touched on that like sky jungle like might require the jungle role a sky the sky jungle might require a sky slayer for the jungle role. Gotcha. Which it seems what the fact that they say sky jungle seems to scream to me that they are really trying to push sky slayers into there. I, which kind of sucks to me, because I feel like that's going to hinder. I, I feel like it's gonna if that's like what they're promoting. I feel like trying to do anything outside of that, at least at the start, is going to be very difficult to do for jungle unless you're playing with another. Unless like your jungle is doing with you, or like doing different yeah. strategies. I don't like that. I I think the one thing that. And, you know, obviously this is very far in the future, right? Um, one thing that heavily concerns me is, like, let's just say they do a pick-ban phase, right? Which every MOBA that I've ever seen competitively has had a pick-ban phase, right? What if you just ban all the Sky Slayers out? Yeah. It's like, how, what do you, many, what do you, how many... What do you do? Yeah, how many Sky Slayers do we need to have before we can introduce a pick-ban phase? <laughs> But that's the thing, because like, like, could you could you imagine just baiting out the Sky Slayer? It's like cool. The enemy team has literally lost out on their jungle, your, their Sky Jungle. Your 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 first pick, and there's seven Sky Slayers in the game. Yeah, like <laughs> it's just like, yeah. well, I guess we win, boys. <laughs> the enemy team would be forced to not ban a Sky Jungler, a Sky yeah, Slayer. No, and if you no. and if you start banning Sky Slayers and there's only four in the game, well, the enemy has to ban a Sky Slayer. And then yeah. that, and then all you do is just you don't you don't ban a sky slayer in one of your turns. It's just the yeah, end. And and I don't I don't know how much it'll go. And like I, I really do wonder if like if there will be a way to get to the sky jungle without being a sky slayer. As from what I've seen so far, and like what I've deduced is no. They said that there will be cannons, but they've said nothing about them after that. They just said in the um, the map update one. Mm -hmm. They said there's going to be cannons, but we've seen nothing in the lanes that look like a cannon. I think it's going to be some like magical apparatus thing, uh, because that was that's what they had in one of their old, old, old videos on their oh, old. It, it was a little magical rune thing that you got in, and it shot yeah. you up. Um, so there, I guess it's going to be something like that, but we haven't seen anything about it yet. So yeah. maybe we'll get something about it in one of the community core. Yeah, and I, I hope. I mean, that's kind of like the hard thing about like putting predictions is like we need more. It is very yeah. I do love that they are like so. You and I kind of have different opinions. I do love that they're for like if they force sky slayers or whatever to be a sky jungle. Early on, I think that that's okay because it like limits the amount of balance and it limits the amount of like changes that they're gonna have to make because like it's okay. a new game, right? I got. Um, yeah, I get you on that part. Yeah. I, I would rather have them have kind of like a an interesting game at the beginning, right? So like an interesting but easy game to maintain. So they're not just trying to fix everything at once, right? Because like I yeah. think it's naive to believe that there are not going to be a ton of issues. 
but them limiting the amount of issues that they have would probably be like yeah better, especially, especially like, when especially when like when they release it it's just gonna be bug fixes for the first couple of weeks uh-huh. so that'll be good that I, I, yeah i get that part it's it'll be nice to if if it's like you have to realistically have a sky slayer but yeah and, th- and then after that after that right because like I, I you know i played back in like season one season two of league and it was very cookie cutter like it was very you know you played this way and obviously back then the meta wasn't as developed for mobas as it is now right like but it it was very like hey here's how you're gonna play the game is very straightforward the game's very easy it's not now where it's like oh if if you slow push the waves the jungler is gonna it's hmm. so but i i worry that all of the hidden expectations of moba players is going to like creep into this game Meaning, like the their how like it's like their the set play style of certain mobas right now. That and like okay, so like let's just say um let's just say like World of Warcraft right for for RTSs for like MMO or not RTS okay. MMORPGs. Everybody compares an MMORPG to World of Warcraft, right? Okay. And then, and then a lot of people like stop playing the new MMORPG that comes out because it doesn't do the same things as World of Warcraft. So now, like, let's just say League of Legends. I I think it's pretty safe to say League of Legends is probably it's the, the, it's the most biggest MOBA. yeah it's it is like the MOBA right. It's probably the most like obviously you can argue Dota two whatever. I'm gonna stay with League. So it's, it's like it's League in terms of in terms yeah. of audience and just the Revenue, whole structure yeah. of everything that is involved with League. It's the biggest. Yeah. So like, I'm afraid that people will play this game. And obviously, it's super different from League from the very beginning. Like, it's completely different. But a lot of people will be turned off by the fact that it is not League of Legends rather than, like, accepting the differences and being hyped about it. Because, like, a lot of people that I've talked to in the MOBA community that have, like, looked at this game, they're like, hmm, I don't like it because of this. And it's, like, something, it's, like, a different selling point, right? So, like, the way the map is laid out here, they're like, hmm, I don't know if I like that. And it's like, well, why? And like, oh, because every other MOBA is not like that and it's like okay like, that's that's the well, point <laughs> like, yeah yeah like so it's something new and exciting at least that's how i view it but i know certain people that i've talked to don't view it that way so i hope that i don't know i hope i hope that people don't do that because i think this game has like absolutely insane potential everyone that i've shown the game to have like have they have like i'm like yeah go like i'm i because like people when people ask like what do you do? Like, you know, and I tell them, like, I, I, I do YouTube, like my friends, say people. Mm, yeah, no, my friends and acquaintances of that I know through my friends. I'm like, yeah, I follow this, I follow this MOBA and whatnot. I'm really hyped for it. They're like, oh, send me the link to whatever. And I send them to the, the website and they're like, damn, when does this game come out? Like, within five minutes after looking at everything, they're like, <laughs> I need this game. Everybody I've, everybody I've shown has said that. And I, and I, then I'm like, well, it's not a, until uh yeah undisclosed date un- un- undisclosed <laughs> date maybe maybe tomorrow or uh maybe two years from now i don't know you know <laughs> i mean that, that's that's cool i'm really glad that that you're experiencing the opposite side of the spectrum because i was starting to get a little worried of like it's a lot of the people that i talk to are like silver level players in league they don't okay. and they're not like they're not like diehard league fans like they, they, they right. like the game they play it um, but they all, but they, it's not like they're, I wouldn't necessarily say it's not their main game, but it's, it's like, they'll play, they'll be very willing to play other things. Over okay. League. It's not like their main aspiration, like their main aspiration is to be like masters or whatever. They just like, right. they play it for, they play yeah. it to, the cause casuals. they enjoy it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So but that's fun. And that's everybody that's that awesome. I know. I don't know high ranked players or I do actually, I know, I know high ranked players, but none of them actually like friends with, so to say. Yeah, I got you. Um, I got you. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the way they're going though with Sky Slayers. I'll just tie it back. I, th- yeah. I think it's fine. I think uh-huh. it's fine. So, I think we're done with that section. We can get on to the fun section now. I mean, not to say that the other section wasn't fun, but I'm, ha- I want to talk about everybody now. We got all seven, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. We're, we're done. We're done. We got all oh, seven man. because now I have I've had a list of ideas in my head of what I want to do once we got all seven in terms of because I knew after we got all seven that it was gonna be a while before 
you know, even before they made the post, that it was going to be a while before we got some uh -huh. new stuff. So I've got a list of ideas in my head of like, oh, we can talk about this and we can talk about this. Um, but so we're going to be covering pretty much like we're going to be doing just essentially like an overview of everything of like what we who we think. Well, I, we'll just start going down the list. Fuck, We'll go down the list. Um, so first, for, first thing, who do we think the strongest myth is? And you can have multiple answers for these reps. But like you can. But like, because to me, I think the strongest one is Noxus. So I'm I'm torn between uh, Marina and Noxus. Right. Yeah. Marina was the other one. So those are the two that I'm stuck on. I think Noxus is just more. I think in this in the way that I believe the game is going to be played, Noxus has more of an opportunity to impact the game and actually like win you the game. Right. Where Marina is very, at least how I view it, is like very reliant on you know your duo partner or whomever. That's kind of how I see her. Is like. Mm -hmm. to to enable them so like i i would say noxus has the best potential to be the strongest in the game yeah she's just like long range fairly safe there's a lack of engage in the game noxus just seems very very good and then marina um is also good just because there's not a whole lot of burst outside of noxus yeah yeah, and, and she her kit is just strong, in my opinion. Now, the weakest myth. I had a hard time figuring it out because I didn't really think anyone was like super like uh, like super obviously the weakest link out of the bunch. But I think it's Malaya. You really think so? I I see I'm I'm completely opposite of that. I don't think it's Malaya at all. Who do you think it is? I think it's either Talos or uh Talos is my Aaron. second. Either Talos or Erwin or Arwin Ar or whatever. Arwin. No, I I'm calling him Arwin. <laughs> Arwin. No, I think I think either Talos or him, in my opinion. I'm leaning more towards Talos. Yeah. Um, Malaya, I think, is only gonna be weak if assassins are weak. I think on hit Malaya is just god awful. I don't I yep. don't see that being useful. Um, in fact, Malaya was. Potentially going to be my strongest myth as well, as well as being the weakest one. Which, and <laughs> yeah, it's just that, that, that's why I say Malaya is not the weakest, is because I think I think assassins are going to be meta. Okay, yeah, and Talos was my second one because Talos, Talos just seems like a number game. Yeah, and like if if and this is kind of where I'm basing on if if Noxus is the best. I think Malaya also has to be a uh, a good a good a good myth, right? Because like nobody okay. else is going to be able to deal with Noxus. At least like maybe Noxus versus Noxus. Like okay, you That's, know if you're yeah, more we skilled, can't, we can't. Yeah, do that. So cool. The two strongest people, <laughs> whomever's just better. Nice. No, <laughs> yeah. um, I, I think the only person that could like really do deal with Noxus and potentially Talos could too, depending on his numbers. Like maybe Assassin maybe Assassin Talos. We talked That's about it saying. last time. So if if that's not a you know if the numbers aren't there for Talos if he's more of like a like a bruiser I'm just gonna sit in your team and not die like I think Malaya will just be necessary so that's that's why I said Talos is kind of my weakest. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Um, hardest to balance, Malaya. Malaya is gonna be the answer for like all of mine if it if it isn't apparent at this point. Outside of, uh, actually, there's one category I didn't put her in. Uh, okay. Well, I'm trying, trying to think. Malaya, for me, is the hardest to balance for the reasons I said when they released her. Her kid is trying to do two things at once. Be an assassin and be an on-hit fighter. Those two don't mix well. Okay? The reason why, like, is essentially, like, so... Leia can be a tank, a bruiser, and a mage, or mage, assassin, well, an AP assassin. But Leia can be all of those because her passive lets it be so that, her, like, the way those play out are based on her passive. Her, her mm -hmm. passive empowers different abilities to do different things, to, to, to excel in different areas based on the, the build is. 
you want to do more, you, you're going for the AP assassin build, you need to empower that uh, the, the thrust. You're going for more of a bruiser build or a tank build, well, you're probably going to want the shield or you're going to want the heal, you know. Malaya doesn't have that flexibility, it's just half of her abilities are assassin based and half of her abilities are on hit base. At some point, that's not going to gel together and it's going to be very obvious because you're going to go an assassin build and half of your kit is just like, well, I guess I have this, but it's not really doing me anything. So I think at some point in the future, they're going to have to decide like, okay, Malaya is it is indefinitely an assassin now or a full on fighter now and we're reworking the parts of her kit that weren't that i think that's what's going to happen i mean i i somewhat slightly disagree because like you see you see like irelia right where like a lot of people built her on hit right with like poor quits end whatever um it's like i could i could see an assassin being on hit or at least like the on hit damage boosting their 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 abilities right because like would, would you say i really would be an assassin no you don't Aurelia's think so? not I, an I, assassin to... really is a really is an annoying bruiser to me <laughs> but, but, but i feel like she she sits in the middle of like in terms like, of positioning I, right but an yeah, assassin... like, i really can definitely assassinate a squishy in my opinion an assassin to me is somebody that's like has a very in and out play style like you go in you you go in and you get your kill and then you get out wait for cooldowns and go back in then that's how an assassin is to me an assassin to me isn't somebody that like goes in the fight and then stays in the fight to me that's a bruiser or uh or a fighter okay i i, I differentiate a little i i think more bruiser is like build in my opinion, okay. like that, that's kind of how I view it as like build, but okay. I could, I could see, I could see it in both. I think the main thing is, is I could see her build on hit and still do enough damage to like I, to kill somebody. Right? I think then she she could only get like two items and would have to be tank from the rest of that point on. Yeah. Like you you end up building her as a bruiser then, which. But and then like half of there's there's still parts of her kit that I just don't like I it's still at the end of the day there's parts of the kit that no matter which build you go I'm not happy with because of the, that part of her kit doesn't quite fit. Yeah. So. Uh, I I think for me it's either Malaya or, or Leia and and Leia not not for for me Leia is not as much of like balance because of. Of her kit, it's more balanced because of you know her like she you know she's a, she's a sky slayer, slayer, and she has a ton of CC, and she has the ability to play like five different play styles. So it's, okay. I, I I feel like it'll be hard to to diversify her because if one is obviously better, right, or or whatever, then she's just gonna be hard stuck into that. Yeah, I I. I guess at some point, if they if they decide in the future, like we've got too many assassins, they can just be like, Leia is no longer going to be able to be an assassin anymore. Like, like she's she's clearly like one of the best ones, and there's other ones out there. We're just completely gutting this away from her, and you'll mm -hmm. just have to play her other builds now. I could see them doing that as a way to balance it. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So. Yeah. The other one that was that might seem broken to me is an enchanter, just because I think enchanters are going to be strong in a 6v6 meta. Yeah, and especially with what, the way the, the game is playing now. Like, healing is just going to be insane, because nobody really has the damage to, like, yeah. my just note, destroy people. My note that I wrote down, enchanters will be broken in a bruiser-infested world. It's just fair. Like, I mean, if you just build, build a bruiser, like, you yeah. can't die. Yeah, and so I feel like Marina is going to end up being like very much like she's either going to be super good or she's going to be completely useless. Yeah, and I think that's that's just a, that's a product of the potential meta more than anything. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess uh, I want to. I will save. I, I want to jump to best duo. I think, and then we'll do the other one. Okay. Because I think the other um... one's a good way to end off of. Um, I think I think the best duo would be Noxus Marina. Noxus Marina, just for the heavy poke. Yep, I think it, I think it'd be the best. Okay, when I I mean I was thinking like 
um, Marina with uh, Talos or uh, or Aron because it's a healer with a bruiser. I I can see that as well. Um, the only problem I have with that is like, so like let's just say that you did put Marina Noxus versus well, I wasn't versus saying Tal- I wasn't saying it against a duo lane. I was mostly saying. I guess I, I guess I guess I should have clarified the question. Best duo okay, in I'm... terms of best duo in terms of you and a buddy go into a game together. Doesn't matter uh... what doesn't matter what lanes you're playing. I think I think yeah, I think for the, the best 2v2 lane is is that and then you can maybe say Noxus or uh Noxus Aran because they are kill lane. Um or I, at this point you could say Leia Aran or yeah. Leia literally literally Leia, Aran, and Noxus, um, all the, any of those three together could be very strong in terms of a kill lane. But for I'm taught when I when I asked for best duo, I meant more so you and a buddy go into a game together. What combination do you want to pull off that you think is going to be the strongest, regardless of like what roles? Like you, if you were on any roles, what combination is going to be the strongest? That's what that's what I meant by that question. Uh, I mean, I would say Noxus has to be one. Okay. Um, I I only think not. I don't, I only one I can really pinpoint is Noxus because I think she just has the potential to just one v nine the game. Um, and then other than that, I don't really care. I would say maybe Leia to like camp camp Noxus. Um, That'd be insane. As far as like, as far as like, if if we were gonna say like the best duo. Like the best position to duo, like roles, would be double jungle, in my opinion. Um, then I would say Noxus Leia, or I could see Noxus Marina, maybe. I think also, also Noxus Leia outside of laning phase, you just have all the CC. You, you literally yeah. have all the CC in the game. Yeah, well, that, that's like you control the tempo. The, the way I feel is like you control the tempo with those two, right? Because it's like Noxus, if you're if you're good. You're gonna carry the game, and then Leia, like you, you control the engage. You can control CC. So like that. That's why I state those two. Yeah. All right. Um. And then, what's the myth you're most excited to play? Uh, I guess come jungle, it's gonna be Leia. She's the only one that I could be like a hundred percent for sure that I'll play jungle. Um, I'm most excited to play Talos. I know that we talked about that he's like one of the weakest, but I like the whole I'm gonna hammer in and then just twirl and mm-hmm. like it, it scratches like the like Alistar itch, I guess, of like I'm going in, I'm starting this fight, we're getting shit done type of thing. Like yeah, and like I know that like Leia can do that too, but Talos seems like he's gonna have more damage. So yeah, I I could see that and and the more ability to like hopefully survive after doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm literally just. I'm just excited to fly in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, and um, hopefully kill people. Yeah, the other the other person I do want to try if like if the whole Talos thing is terrible because he actually can't like life steal mm-hmm. properly and nobody's ever wanting to group up because that's how that's literally the only way you get to do shit on Talos. And the other <laughs> one that I want to play is Malaya just because it's gonna be so easy to stomp games with her if you just go the assassin build. Like we we know that like, it's been, like we're just naturally better players than most people. We're mm-hmm. and we're good. We're good at mobas in general. So if you put me on an assassin, I'm going to run over everybody. Even though that's not like my preferred playstyle. Yeah, playstyle. Right. I'll have fun. Like I have fun playing Pike in League. I have, but Pike's not an assassin per se. Like he is, but he's he's more so like. A pike, a pike alone will not assassinate you in League of Legends unless he's just beyond fed. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, yo, you ever had a Hailblade pike just e on yeah, you I... and then just Q you and just hit you three times and you're like, all right, cool, I'm dead. That's nice. me and uh, that's me in the quarter of the games, somewhat. Uh, it, no, nor- uh, normally Pike doesn't get that far ahead to be able to do to be that able to do that and, and like not immediately die after because because you can't just jump into the middle of the team and do that. So I mean, yeah, generally, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So I, I, I'm Malaya is like the second one I want to try out just because I, it's going to be so easy to pop stomp people with. Them. You're a mean, mean man. 
Hey, somebody's gotta put everybody in place and let them know C-Dubs is playing the game, so you better watch out. You're a mean, mean man. You know, I'll, I'll stick with just flying around. I'll yeah. fly around that. Uh, you, you fly around, and I'll go and get kills everywhere, okay? I'm, oh, man. I I'll play her support, and I'll just... There you go. <laughs> there you go. Just just claw people to death. Just, I'll play her support, and I'll just just tell my ADC, like, if I think I'm going in, you better run up with me, buddy, because Dude. we're getting kills, okay? <laughs> oh, that'd oh, be hey. funny. Malaya kill lane. It's coming. That'd be funny. Um... Uh. Yeah, that's. I mean, unless is there's any other things that you want to talk about regarding the Miz, because there were some other things that I was like, yeah, we'll save it because we're. Yeah, we're way over time. Um, we're pushing it. <laughs> nope, I'm good. Um, we're good. Yeah, so that's gonna be it then, guys. Um, you can find both me and Rept on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, links for everything will be in the description below. Unless there's anything else you want to add that nope okay. i was just thumbs up yeah good job um there's not going to be any big news for a while uh we have a few top or at least i have a few topics planned mm -hmm. um and if you guys have any suggestions of things you want us to cover in particular let us know in the comments below and yeah uh thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more ethereal content a new episode of anima talks comes out every thursday and we don't want you to miss it uh, one final thing, uh, when this episode goes up, I will be on vacation, uh, so I won't be able to respond to anything for a while, and probably don't expect any videos from me until the next talks. Um, but thanks guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Awesome.